Alright, so today we're just going to address the issue of engines falling out of cars in BeamNG Drive. Um, <coughs> as of the version 0.22 update, the cars now have engine mounts securing the engines to the chassis. Um, engines that don't have that option simply just fall out of the car. It's a really easy fix, but yeah. So the example I'll use today is the gavel engine pack. Um, to do what we need to do, we just need to extract it because we'll need to repack it later. It's easier to edit the files when it's extracted. Um, now, each car has its own engine mount, so what we need to do is we need to copy it from the vanilla game files. So, in this instance, for the Barstow, now, regardless of the engine, the engine mount is the same, so in this instance what we'll do is we will find the one for the Basto so it's just this line of code here we'll copy that and it will open up all the associated files here that need to be edited um, right, so yep so it's those and we simply just need to paste it in like that more or less um, and we need to do this for every single engine option um, now I've not used this mod before so I don't know how many engines there actually is so I'll just try and scroll through it quickly and get all of them done and then you need to do this for every single vehicle basically Save that, do that, now you don't need to use Notepad++ to edit the JBeam files but I prefer it because it lays all the code out in a much easier to read format than normal Notepad. I think that's it for that one. Why not? We got a couple more. Anyway, I'll stop this video here, I'll do all the engines for the rest of the cars and then I'll show you how to repack it. Alright, so one thing I forgot to touch on earlier was some engines don't have engine mounts, so all the rear engine mounted cars like the SPR and the supercar don't have it and the bus and the semi don't have them either so we can skip those so that's pretty easy to do that um, the van I'll do those ones quickly um, right. One thing I've noticed is the van uses a lot of the pickups parts, so the engine's the same, and in this case the engine mounts the same, which it makes sense because it's the same chassis. So I'll just quickly add in the engine mounts for the van's engine options. So all we're doing is just adding in the slot that allows you to choose the engine mounts basically. that one done
Right, so that's all done. So I've added in all the variables that I need to edit. So the way that you need to pack the engines for this, for these cars, is in the root of the directory you need to have the folder structure laid out. So you need to have your vehicles folder needs to be in the root directory like that with mod info and art or whatever other folders you might that need to be there so when you repack it you cannot re right click on this folder and just go send a zip file what you, what you actually need to do is go into here like that select it all right click just go send a compressed zip folder it'll zip everything Now, there was a lot of empty folders in this, but it won't add them to the zip file. That's fine. Um, now, I like to name my zip, uh, zip files in a particular way. It doesn't stop the game from reading it. So, in this instance, because it's an engine pack, I sort everything by the type with a hyphen and then name. Um, I do this because it means when I have a mod conflict or something like that, it makes it much easier to track down where the issue is. Um, so, yep, simple like that. And then just yeah, copy that. I've moved my mods folder as well, so it's easier for me to find. Um, yours will be in a different spot, more than likely. Um, mine's in here. And then literally just plonk the zip folder in there like that. So as you can see, when we click on the zip file, it's structured like that, basically. Um, I will put, I'll upload this zip file to my Dropbox, and I'll post the link in the video. Um, but yeah, so it's a relatively easy thing. If you have any kind of coding background, it's, you know, easy to do. Alright, um, thank you for that, and enjoy.